now available in paperback. From the author of the critically acclaimed book, The Man Crisis, comes The Woman Crisis. Learn why so many women have become lost in their quest to have it all in The Woman Crisis. Get your copy of The Woman Crisis in paperback at Amazon.com and online booksellers today. A couple of weeks ago, actress Tia Maori filed for divorce from her husband, Corey Hardick. And your Corey Hardick allegedly was blindsided by this announcement of a divorce from his wife. And your Corey Hardick was surprised because he allegedly had not cheated on Tia Maori or allegedly abused her. Now, your Corey Hardick has to go out here and stand up and be a man for his children because while his wife says that she wants to have her turn, he has to make sure that his children don't get turned out and become a man in crisis and a woman in crisis due to their mother looking to break up their family. Now this is where your Corey Hardick has to have the discipline and resolve to be a man who has the character to be, can still be an example of a father to his children because right now is when his children need him the most and they need him to be a positive example of manhood for them that will allow them to maintain stability in their lives while their mother is out here having her turn and turning away from them. Because, as I see it, when your Tia Maori went out here and started talking about having her turn, she really showed me that she really doesn't understand what how important it is to be a mother and be out here and present that example to her children as related to how you're supposed to carry and conduct yourself when you're married. Because it's a selfish decision to go out here and divorce your husband who has been faithful to you for over 14 years and leave him in order to go back out into the world. However, this is what happens when a woman is being influenced by a dark spirit like the Jezebel spirit. But your Corey has to go out here and still be an example of a man who follows the Most High and he needs to maintain his resolve and character and show his children how a man who follows the Most High deals with a situation like a wife who is possessed by the Jezebel spirit by putting a heavy focus on his children and, be, and being a positive example of a black man to them. Because at this point, if you're dealing with a divorce, a father has to go out here and maintain that example of manhood for his kids so that his kids can go out here and see that a man does not fall apart when a woman goes out here and makes an irrational and abrupt decision because she's being led by this Jezebel spirit to believe that she's going to go out here and have a turn. No, while she's out here turning away from the family, you have to turn towards the family and be that covering and protection to them and go out here and show them that you are not going to change in any way because this type of um, decision that your Tia Maori has made, this can go out here and damage a child like your Cree who was a young boy and it can also damage the young Cairo, the, the young girl. It can destroy their entire lives because divorce, it leads to a lot of young boys and girls when they see their parents divorce. It just does a lot of damage to those children and it leads to those kids winding up never being the same because when for a child they look to have their emotional security from their parents and they look for that stability from their parents to be their, their model for being able to function. So it's your Corey really again has to stand up for his kids and he has to stand up for his kids so because it's up to him to go out here and show that example of manhood 
to show them how a man goes out here and deals with a situation because he has to go out here and still lead his family because these are his children and he needs to go out here and show an example of leadership to them so that they won't go out here and see oh dad is falling apart because that makes their entire world falls apart so this is why i say your cory really again has to go out here and stand up for his kids because there's nobody his mo their mother isn't standing up for them no she's out here thinking she's gonna have her turn but when i look at tia maori sadly she's being misled by this jezebel spirit and this jezebel spirit has her thinking she's gonna have a turn but what sadly is going to happen to her is she's going to get turned out by many of these guys in Hollywood because while you're having your turn and thinking that you're going to be this independent woman, what's going to happen is, is that your Tia Maori is going to wind up in these places with these whoremonger males and in, the, in a place where she's going to wind up getting taken advantage of and exploited and that's where your Corey has to come in and protect those children so that they, they don't wind up getting exposed to things that they don't need to be exposed to. Because while your Tia Maori is having her turn, your Corey has to come in and look out for those kids so that they don't get exposed to the things that I read about as related to actress Barbara Payton, where she was out here living her life back in the 1940s and 1950s and made, and made the, the life of their son, John Lee Payton, so bad because she had all, was out here partying and drinking and out here with all of these different guys. And she had lost her moral position and basically let, went on a, on a decline in her life to the point where she was eventually got turned out by Hollywood and then got turned into a prostitute. So that's the sad state of affairs that happens when, when women like Tia Maori go out here, divorce their husbands, and have their turn, in the most extreme cases, they can go out like Barbara Payton, getting turned out by Hollywood. And your Corey, again, he has to stand up for his kids to make sure that they don't get exposed to things that they don't need to see, like all sorts of people coming in and out of their home, people exposing their kids to all sorts of adult-type content, and even worse, seeing their mother going out here bringing different men into the house this is what a father needs to look out for to protect his kids and that's what Corey Hardick has to do at this point yes he's got a busy schedule with his with his TV show that he's gotten the second season but he has to go out here and make that time for his kids because if he doesn't look out for their future, their mother possibly definitely isn't because she's too busy going out here having her turn, not understanding what, that she's turned away from her kids because a person in their 40s like myself, it's not about us having our life at that point. No, it's not about our turn. It's about us when we're in our 40s and we've got kids we are supposed to turn to our kids and we're supposed to go out here and present an example of manhood and womanhood to them because when they were born, that's when it was over for us and that's when we go out here and stop having our so-called life and we focus on providing them with a foundation in the Most High and we go out here and look to go out here and give them the example of Christ so that they can go out here and understand what it means to have an abundant life under the Most High. That is the focus of a parent who is mentally mature. A parent who is mentally mature, they're going to sit down and say, hey, my life ends at when they, when I get the announcement that she is pregnant. When she is pregnant, I'm making adjustments to my life. When, my, when the mother of my children is saying that she is pregnant, that's when we stop going out here and having a good time in the streets. And that's when we start going out here building and maintaining a stable home so that our kids can grow up and be able to have that stability so that they can be grow up to become healthy adults 
who can eventually wind up taking care of themselves. Grown men and women understand that it's no longer their time when their kids are are born. They understand that that part of their life run, going out here and so-called dating, going out here and going to the clubs, going out here and drinking and partying, if they do that sort of thing, that part of your life practically ends at that point because at that point it's about teaching and preparing your son and your daughter for how to navigate life in this world and it's all about teaching them how to survive in this world it's about you making that sacrifice so that they can go out here and have their turn when they go out here and graduate high school or finish college that's what it's about once those children um, wind up coming into this world it's about making sure that they get their turn and it's about making sure that their head is on straight so that when they get their turn they don't get turned out and taken advantage of by all of these predators who lurk in this world out here that is what the role of a mother and a father are as related to God's natural order and that's what if since your Tia doesn't want to go out here and be that teacher who teaches culture to her son and her daughter this is where your quarry has to step in as a man because if he doesn't step in as a man a divorce like he's going through can lead to his son turning into one of these beta males who become a man in crisis and does not know how to function in life and it can lead to his daughter becoming growing up to become a woman in crisis who doesn't know how to navigate the world and winds up thinking that she can just be like mom and have her turn not understanding where she's turning is going to lead to her getting turned out because that's what happens when you are a woman who follows the feminist paradigm you wind up getting turned out you wind up becoming extremely miserable and while you're thinking you're being liberated and independent by because you're being misled by a Jezebel spirit what happens is those that Jezebel spirit leads to you winding up in a dark place like many of the women in crisis I talk about in the historical women in crisis series and I sadly don't want to see Tia Maori become another one of those installments but that's the way she's going because she's being misled by a Jezebel spirit but Corey his job at this point is to go out here and be the best father he can be because when it comes down to these kind of situations you'll have women saying oh I want to co-parent but meanwhile they're going out here saying all sorts of bad things about you as a father and saying that you're not doing your job to the kids and that winds up tainting those kids and having them the boy believing oh I need to be a man not like my father basically setting him on the road to becoming a beta male mangina and also having the daughter thinking that oh I don't want a, a man like my father when your father was a decent man who went out here and again was a part of the family I mean I've seen this here in the Bronx so many times where women go out here and just leave their kids bringing them all sorts of different guys around them but it's up to a father who loves his kids to step up and stand up for his kids and stand up for his kids so that they don't so that they can get the most protection because the whole thing is it's a father's job to lead his family it's a father's job to protect his family it's a father's job whenever the wife wants to leave the family to go out here and make sure that he maintains a home for his kids maintains stability for his kids lets them know that their father is going to be a rock who is going to be there like like Christ is for the church and be there as a man to show them an example of manhood because while your Tia Maori is having her turn he needs to make sure that he protects their opportunity to have a turn in this world and make sure that they have an opportunity to be protected by him from all of these different predators who lurk outside looking for a, a payday 
and looking to go out here and, and take advantage of this opportunity. Because again, for a 40, when you have a 44 year old woman who's talking about her turn, she doesn't know what's out in that world. But you as a man, you know what's out in that world and you have to shield your children from the elements that this woman may possibly try to expose your kids. And you have to do this, if, if you can, to work with that woman. But if she's out here and going crazy and bringing all sorts of stuff to you, you've got to go and get custody of your kids. Because many men out here, we've got to start standing up and fighting for our kids if we have them and make sure that we protect them. And that's the advice I would give your Corey Hardick if I talked to him face to face like a man. Because I, I grew up, the way I grew up in the Bronx, I don't want another man to grow up like that. I want men to be able to go out here and have relationships with their kids and feel safe in that environment and get to know their dads because the problem with many men out here is that they wind up becoming men in crisis because their fathers aren't actively involved because the woman doesn't want to be involved with the man because she wants to go out here and do her thing but you have to make sure that your thing is taking care of those kids making sure taking care of those kids to make sure that their their needs are taken care of and let her let those kids know that you're going to be there and let them know that again you're going to be that rock that provides them stability even though she wants to change and have her turn you have to make sure that you make sure that they're that they get their turn and that their life doesn't turn into one big game over this is the advice i would give your Corey Harding if I were to meet him face to face because I, I look at him, his family and I want to see him, his family grow out here and thrive. I want to see his kids grow out here and thrive. And this is the advice I would give him if I ran in him, to him face to face. Now, if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, and my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to pick up some of my books on the SJS Direct Imprint, as related to men's issues like Stop Simping, The Man Crisis, and the book I need T.M. Mowry to go out here and read, The Woman Crisis. You can find all of those books on Amazon.com in paperback digital format. You can also find them on Smashwares, the iBook Store, and Google Play. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available at paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today.